I never have trouble seeing the other side's side. That won't stop me from asserting my side if I perceive the need. It comes down to the fact that balance is static, and anything else activates the tipping point. Of course, balance is also dynamic, given the nature of the universe, and tropic, changing universally for the worse, albeit locally things can improve. So it's both, of course, again, not ambiguity, complexity, like all communication, if and when we expand our perspective. So, disagreement does not require passion or even conviction. Disagreement should require or include clarifying your ideas. So George Will, whom I have quoted before, quoting someone, once again made an apposite observation. He said, Balfour, Arthur Balfour, the British statesman, whose name is so tightly bound up with the current state of Israel, that is, the state of Israel and its current state, and indeed its very existence, what with the 1917 Balfour Declaration, explore the limpid pages of Wikipedia, a well-known internet reference site. The internet is a well-known reference tool, like a library as a collection of reference books. A library is an old-fashioned repository or storehouse of books. A book is an old-fashioned means of storing information of scholarship and entertainment. Be that as it may, Balfour said that some certain rival's clarity was a liability because he had nothing to say. Then George Will goes on to quote impeached former President Bill Clinton on the 1991 Gulf War. That's 74 years after the Balfour Declaration. Clinton said, I guess I would have voted with the majority if it had been a close vote, but I agree with the arguments the minority made. Such nothings say everything. Clinton's wife, a persistent community activist, would have disagreed. It's actually funny picturing these two past masters and mistresses of triangulation squaring off in such an elliptical way against each other. It's a lesson in three-dimensional geometry. Euclid would be proud, except that he required axioms, principles, unchanging. Which puts me in mind of Archimedes, who could have moved the world given a place to stand. The Clintons did try to move the world, taking no stand at all. This is the value of history, being able to use the example of figures from the past to bring clarity to the present. Clarity, even in the murk and blur of politics, through their negative example, like negative space or the dog that did not bark, something that should be happening that isn't. As one of the truly great thinkers of this or any other age has said in sublime poetic form, <clears throat> <clears throat> A Clinton's a wonderful being that knows all there is to of seeing all sides of a matter on which it can chatter without ever stopping for breathing. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Superb. Email your praise to me privately. I don't want to overload this platform. Denial of service. There are, after all, only so many terabytes. After terabyte comes petabyte. Then exabyte. Zettabyte. Yorabite, then Jar Jar Binksabite. A digression. Be that as it may. Political issues. A mere heartbeat ago it was about which candidates believed in God or evolution. That heartbeat is irrelevant now, of course, stopped like that of an unwanted fetus. Likewise, gay marriage and unicorns and gender. Reality is whatever you want it to be. Now, in this current moment of relevance, it's weather, not whether or not a man is a woman, rather the kind of weather that is barometric, metric, measurable, like science with testability and validated predictions, like Al Gore's completely true and Oscar-winning prophetic movie, An Inconvenient Truth, that totally all came true perfectly, rather than not at all. I seem to recall that the world did end in 2012, as promised. Here we are in the afterlife. Isn't it wonderful? But I said or implied just now that it's not a debate anymore about a man being a woman. Politically, that's settled. Settled politics, like settled science, like vaccination, an issue I am generally uninformed about, other than philosophically, where it seems on a par with abortion, a matter of personal choice and of privacy, like between a man and his doctor. Point is, no debate. They're all marching in lockstep, goose step, Sieg Heil, mother, father, because what is a mother? Be that as it may, 
then again, be that as it may be not, because it has to do with taking a clear stand. Part of that clarity isn't just in speaking, but in first principles, axioms. We don't have to be right to be honorable. We do have to be at some level somewhere forthright. Clinton and his nominal spouse are as relevant as statues of founding fathers and Civil War generals. Likewise, the Bushes and Obamis. What's past is proletariat. In this highly relevant age of Biden and his highly relevant age, which is not at all about age, but degeneration and encroaching dementia and breathtaking blamification, a tactic perfected in the long past era of the Oblema occupancy of the Ovary office of the Rainbow House. Should I say that again slowly? Just replay it a few times. Blame, I say, rather than clarity or leadership from the anything but White House. Borders, homeless, drugs, the lefty dream of the unified state of dystopia is slouching toward us, out of the South, and out of the closets and street corners of whores and drug dealers, although my metaphors are outdated, because everything is digital and streaming now, streaming out of Babylon, eager to abort, Newsom and Harris, and all these balloonists of narcissism and juggling, have mastered the art of self-generating gas which combined with their lack of substance or sense of direction because what is up or down is not but a social construct of the patriarchy, and I'm not sure if I'm digressing now, like penguins or emus, birds of a feather, left wing, perfectly qualified for a joy ride in the hot air drifting direction they've plotted out like a plan, like a conspiracy, rules for radicals, the opportunity of crisis, borders, drugs, Hamas, Jews, perennial favorites of any burgeoning revolution, there she blows, like a volcano, snowless Kilimanjaro, carbon neutral, gender neutral. I'm talking like this with full and natural immunity because everything is everything else, and logic is almost an anagram for go kill, and anagram is an anagram for a ragman. And if you don't see the point, I just feel sorry for you. So here's a tent and some drugs.